Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, this video is for a viewer that had asked a question about how to properly um, or an easier way to do disc swapping with like PS1 multi-disc games like Final Fantasy. Uh, the game he asked about specifically was Parasite Eve. And so this is my solution for that. Um, I went ahead and installed the Webman mod and I'll include a link to that in the description. Um, after you install it, go ahead and run it. I didn't do any of the fancy stuff where it shows, you know, hold down L1 or hold down X. I just ran it once with X and did the, the light edition, I guess. And so that creates a, a server that runs in the background and it also makes this new menu, Webman Games. So in this example, I'm going to use my Final Fantasy game. So I'm going to select disk 2 and it's going to mount that and then automatically run it. You see where it says mounted the game at the very top there. And so while that's running and get it loading up, uh, I'm going to show you the web interface. Now you just enter the website or your, your, your PS3's current IP address and this is what will show up if and when Webman is running. I, there are some settings and setups you can change in here, but I didn't mess with anything. This is just out of the box, basically. And so, you, in this case, we're going to have to go to our games, and we're going to be unmounting a disc and mounting a different game. I went ahead and inserted disc 2, as you will see from here. I have to go ahead and load the... Uh, there we go. New game, and it's going to force me to put in disc 1. Okay, come on. All right, see so this one. So let's go ahead and go back over here. First thing I want to do, we're going to have to unmount the current game and then go back to our games and select, in this case, disk one. And then you're going to click this down here where it says error. So let me go back over here so you can see what that is going to do. Make sure we're not having any issues, right quick. Okay, and uh, sorry about that. There, okay, so now I'm gonna click that link that I showed you before, and you can see up there at the top where it says mount a disk one. And then after it loads this one, it's gonna go and run it because the game detected that there's a new disk installed. Or in this case, mounted. So there you go. This is starting with Final Fantasy VIII, disk one. Apparently you can't skip this, but so there you go. Um I hope you guys found this video useful. I actually did a lot of research for this, trying to find the easiest way, and I didn't find any other videos, so I hope this video helps you out. I know it's there's supposed to be some sort of button combination. You should be able to set it with a webman, but I have not been successful in getting that to work. Uh, but maybe your luck will be better than mine. Maybe it might have something to do with the, the version that I installed. If I installed the full edition, maybe it might work better. I don't know. So just. So here you go, here, it's still mounted, that's disk 1, and if I go back over to my web interface and click unmount and go back to the PlayStation, you'll see that disk is no longer loaded. So, but there you go. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, you, can, is, you can even do it from your smartphone if you have it on the same Wi-Fi network as your PlayStation 3. And so... It should be pretty simple and straightforward. So I hope this video helped. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to click that subscribe button. Get subscribed and keep coming back for more gaming videos. And if you want to become a part of the notification squad, you can go ahead and click that little bell icon. That way you're notified whenever I upload and you will never miss another video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.